Why? Why? And today they're all gone, just missing. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, hit subscribe, like, smash the bell, whatever people say. We're talking God of War Ragnarok on the Steam Deck. Let's get into it. Long before there was Nintendo Switch, the Steam Deck, or even devices like the new G Cloud from Logitech, there was Sony PlayStation handhelds. For as long as I can remember, Sony has always had the highest end handheld device. Not Nintendo, not Sega, not anybody else. And it all started with the PSP, which was at a much higher resolution, significantly better graphics, and the highest end handheld experience you could buy at the time. Fast forward to the PS Vita, which was at a resolution unheard of at the time. Now on a four and a half inch or five inch screen at that size, they were the highest pixel density and by far, hands down, the best handheld gaming experience. They were the first handheld consoles to give us full console-like gaming experience. I know the graphics were smaller, but the screen was smaller and the resolution was smaller, but they gave us that big AAA game feel. Now at the end of that era, the PlayStation 4 was able to stream games in the home directly to the PS Vita. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that PlayStation invented in-home streaming. Now, other companies and other people had invented the concept of streaming devices within your home at the time, but PlayStation was the first console to do it. Now, this is called PS Remote Play, and to date, PS Remote Play is by far the best of all the streaming program, software, or game streaming services that I've ever used. It has the lowest perceived latency, it has the best input lag, it seems to be absolutely flawless in comparison to Steam Link and GeForce Now and uh, xCloud and all these other streaming services. I would even go so far as to say it dumps all over the Xbox in-home streaming as well. I just don't think these other companies have quite figured it out. And since Sony has been doing it for so long, I mean, if we go back to mid cycle of the PS4, they launched something called PS Now, which was actually the original GeForce Now or the original streaming Stadia, whatever you wanna call it. In fact, I used to use it to play games when I didn't have a PS4 anymore. So I played the entire game of Spider-Man on PS Now and it was incredible. The latency was great, it was a completely playable experience and the graphics were a full true 1080p. Now my only question is, Sony, what the F? You make only two apps for game streaming. They can only be used on Android and iOS and they require a PlayStation controller. And if you're playing PlayStation 5, it requires a PlayStation 5 controller to play PlayStation 5 games. Now, you don't make a handheld controller anymore. You're not in that space as far as my research can show right now. You've basically given up almost all support on the PS Vita. So why can't we get an app? Why won't you open this up for us to use a true PlayStation app PS Remote Play with the controllers built in to these devices, like a Steam Deck or the new cloud streaming device from Logitech. This is the ultimate gateway into getting people to buy more PlayStations. And for some reason, the concept of putting it on my Steam Deck or on the G Cloud is a giant pain in the butt. You have to literally go get third party apps. I was able to find an app for both of them made by the same person, I believe, a person named Florian. In the Android store, it's Florian Girls and it's a different Florian something or another on the Steam Deck. But the issue with that is without first party support, it's actually a giant pain in the butt to put it on here. Now, I will link in the description below the two different resources for the two different ways that I found to do it. One of them requires inputting code, lines of code into the console, and the other was a tad more easy. But there are many steps, and this is not something that I would say is easy for most people to do. I actually even ran into issues installing it on mine. The only reason I know that there are two different ways to do it is because I had so many errors trying to get the first way to work uh, that I had to go take to Reddit and the internet and find another way to do it. So let me show you how to get the Chiaki app onto your Steam Deck. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is get into desktop mode for us to give you a quick rundown on how to find the app and install it. There are more steps and I will link those below for those of you who really want to do this. But to give you an idea, what we're gonna do is go into the Steam button or hold down power 
We're gonna scroll down to desktop mode and we're gonna switch to desktop mode. Okay, now that we're in desktop mode, so what we wanna do is we're gonna go down to the bottom, we're gonna hit our discover center. Uh, it's probably best to get a little Bluetooth keyboard or a mouse or something to make this easier, but you can do it in here. Uh, what we wanna do next is we wanna click on the search bar, looking for an app called Chiaki. So it's uh, C-H-I-A-K-I, -I. it's got this cool little yellow and blue logo and you'll recognize it right away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit install. Now this is gonna install the actual base app. And there are more steps to do in here, but first I wanna show you how to add it as a non-Steam game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our regular Steam desktop version. And once we're in the Steam desktop version, what we wanna do is we wanna hit uh, games at the very top, and we're gonna hit add a non-Steam game to my library. This is gonna pull up all the games that are installed that are not currently in your library on Steam. We're gonna scroll right down to Chikai. We're gonna check that box, and we're gonna hit add selected programs. Now, most of the easiest stuff is over. Like I said, there's a link in the description below. Please go check it out and you can see these other videos I've linked below if you want instructions on how to actually do it. Then what we're gonna do is once we've done those extra steps, we are going to click on return to game mode. So once we launch the, the Chiaki app, you're gonna see the PlayStation's ready to play. So let's go over a couple of best practices. One, you wanna leave your PlayStation in rest mode. So that's gonna be the enter rest mode when you hit power. So we're gonna turn this off. So now when we load up the Chiaki app, you're gonna see the PlayStation that shows up within your house is gonna say state standby. We're gonna double click on it with our touch screen and a pop-up's gonna pop up and it's gonna say, this console is currently in standby mode. Should we send a wake up packet instead of trying to connect immediately? We're gonna hit yes. And what it's gonna do is say, wake up packet sent, you'll hear the beep. And now whatever room in the house you're in, you can remote turn on the PlayStation in the first place directly from your Steam Deck. Super cool, absolutely love that. Another key tip to making this in-home streaming or PS Remote Play work flawlessly is that you need to make sure that whatever room your router or modem is in is where your PlayStation is. The most important thing, hands down, about in-home game streaming, whether it's on your Xbox, Steam, or your PS5, is always going to be a direct connection to the internet via ethernet, as you can see here. Once you have connected it directly to the internet, you will now be setting yourself up for the most successful wireless experience for your Steam Deck. Why? Why? Oh, God. So, I'm trying to film this video and I went into the controller settings and I went into the community layouts and there aren't any. They're just gone. Just freaking gone, dude. It's such bullshit. They were all there like a day ago. I was using one like a day ago. All right, so let's go over a small tutorial on how to edit the layout of your Steam Deck controller to become a PlayStation 5 controller because I am just, I, I, I searched online I spent about the last 45 minutes trying to figure out what happened with these community layouts. I can't find a Reddit post, can't find anything on Steam. So I guess we're just SOL. I wanna make sure that you know how to program your Steam Deck touchpads to become the PS button and the missing trackpad button. The process is actually quite easy. Uh, what we're gonna do is grab our Steam Deck. We're gonna go into the, we're gonna go into the game. You're gonna hit the Steam button. You're gonna go over to controller settings. And when you pop into controller settings, it's gonna show you the current layout. We wanna change that layout to Gamepad with mouse trackpad. Once we've done that, we're gonna hit back. We're gonna go into edit layout. It should be one over to the right from view layout. We're gonna hit edit layout. We are then going to go down to trackpads and we're gonna go to right trackpad behavior. We're gonna click on the drop down. We're gonna scroll all the way down to single button. We're gonna select single button. So this is now gonna do one button press. We're then going to uh, do the right click or the R click for the trackpad. And we're gonna go in there and we're gonna go from gamepad and we're gonna hit R1 twice to go over to the keyboard. And we're gonna go down to the keyboard and for the right trackpad, we're going to select T for touchpad or touch click or touch whatever it's called on the PlayStation button controls. Uh, then we're gonna scroll down a couple more. We're gonna go to left trackpad behavior. We're gonna hit single button again. And then we will scroll down to the uh, L click. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that same keyboard section and what we want to choose is escape. Escape is going to be what we want the left trackpad to do. And we'll see that once it rolls in, Bob's your uncle. So we can go over to God of War. You can see that I'm playing it with my hands. I can change things. And you'll see the latency using this as an actual extra controller. So let's say you've gotten used to your Steam controller and you love it. You can literally use this as the controller 
And it's actually just as good as using the Bluetooth controller from any, you know, latency that I can tell. And we're playing. So uh, you can see that I'm playing. Uh, we can show a little bit of latency here if you want, but the app works flawlessly. I got my left touch menu that we programmed earlier. I got, put that away, I got my right touch menu that we programmed earlier. So I now have access to every button. Look works, movement works, triggers work. Uh, it, it, fantastic, it's just a great experience. Um, I, it, the app was done perfectly. It uses the actual APIs directly from Sony. So even though the steps to do it are in my opinion, a little bit harder than they need to be, I would love for Sony to make a first party app that we can use in Linux. Um, other than that, it's fantastic. So. Uh, that's kind of the rundown of gameplay and how it works. The real question is, what was it like to play God of War Ragnarok handheld? It was fantastic. This game is incredible. The fighting, the combat, in a world where almost every other game that I've played in the last six months that's come out either previous to that or it was new, including Gotham Knights, they've all felt half-baked. This game has all of the magic of every version of it, including the last one in 2018. It was 100% worth the four year wait and I can't get enough of it. I've been playing it nonstop for two days since it came out. I've got about 20 hours into the game already and the experience has been absolutely seamless. So conclusion, let's talk about the overall experience. The Chikai app or the PS Remote Play app for the Steam Deck is incredible. Latency is fantastic. It uses the API and all things PS Remote Play. Uh, it is a little finicky to get set up. Like I said, I will leave resources below for you guys to take care of. And the overall experience is wonderful, but it leaves me wondering, what would it be like if Sony finally decided to give up the reins and let other gaming systems like the Switch, who would never do it, or the Steam Deck be able to as seamlessly get on in game. Now my biggest issue with the PS Remote Play app is you have to use a PS5 or a PS4 controller. And that's the bummer about it, is that we have to resort to using third-party apps for us to be able to do what we want to do, which is stream our PS5 or PS4 in our house. I don't know what else to tell you other than this is the way it is and it was an incredible experience and I look very, very forward to playing God of War on my couch next to my wife and my dog at night when I don't feel like sitting in the studio slash game room to play. So what are your thoughts about the Chikai app? What are your thoughts about PS Remote Play? And what do you guys think? If any of you have heard anything about why all of the community layouts for the PS5 controller disappeared, hit me in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day and peace out.